Hey, this is Jason Long coming to you from North Carolina where I'm at one of our largest clients uh, warehouses and today I want to talk to you guys about what we've been doing uh, a little bit for this client and then mostly six main things to know about legacy systems replacement and what I mean by that is if you have a client that you're working with where you're replacing mission critical legacy systems these are the things you need to know so number one before you get started, you've got to review the, the legacy systems. You've got to review what they're currently doing, how they're doing it, and you've got to review their database. A lot of times these legacy systems are a mess. And what I mean by that is the database system but running everything is a mess, which is why they're bringing you in to fix it, or why, if you're the one replacing it, usually why you're replacing it. So as a development team, you need to go in and double check all this stuff. Before you write the scope, before you plan it out, you gotta know what you're getting into. I've seen multiple businesses go in to try to do this and not take that step and really just not be able to do the project. So number two, um, you've gotta write out a detailed scope on this. Obviously you have to write out a detailed scope, but the more detailed the better. And what I mean by that is actually going in, identifying database tables, identifying processes, writing up process flow charts, understanding exactly what you're doing and exactly what you're getting into before you go out and estimate the price on this project. Because a lot of times, you'll get into these projects and there'll be processes you didn't realize were in there. And if you don't have a plan for that, you gave an estimate on it and that client is gonna get real upset when they realize that estimate's gonna double. So, all right, that's number two. Number three, uh, schedule the project timeline. So before you get into it, got to have some sort of schedule. I've seen these schedules balloon out of control before due to scope creep, due to lack of planning. When you get into it, if you've done a pretty good job on your, on your estimate and your research, you'll know about what that timeline needs to be. Even if you need to phase it out and figure out, you know, phase one, phase two, phase three, this will help. Uh, having that timeline is really imperative for making sure the project goes well. Number four, UX. This is one, this is what I do for the most part, and this is something that I think is really, really important. You need to not just rely on those screenshots from that legacy system. You need to get into the factory. You need to get into the processes. You need to ask the people that are doing the job how they're doing it. Don't rely just on the C-level guys or the execs that are bringing you in to do the job. You need to ask the people doing the job how they're doing it, where things are good, where things are bad, and really understand their processes. Otherwise, you'll get halfway through and realize what you're doing is not going to work. Number five, development. We do an every other day scrum, meaning every other day, every third day, depends. What that means is our team meets with their team. So our team actually meets daily to talk about the stuff, but scrum is also with their project managers and their stakeholders. It's so, so important that you do that. If you don't have the, the regular ongoing communication with your client, it's not gonna work, especially when you're doing these mission critical systems. And one other piece on that is don't pretend or don't think that you know their business better than they do because you don't. Uh, if you're building it or if you're, if you're hiring somebody to do this, don't think they know your business better than you do because they don't. You have to get in there. You have to have all that communication or it's not going to work. And finally, number six, uh, before you finish phase one, you need to start planning out phase two. These projects are very often ongoing, regular things. You need to know what you're gonna be doing next. Are you gonna lose momentum? You're gonna have problems moving forward, both for them and for you. So those are my top things. Real quick, it was review those legacy systems, write out a detailed scope, UX work, make sure that you're out there talking to people, um, make sure you're meeting regularly with your clients, and plan out the next phase before you get going, uh, before you finish up the first one. Thanks so much, really appreciate your time. Talk to you soon.